He's second man pushing too far up. Now he's leaving this. Now I got to make now too much pressure on the third man. I lose the tackle on a 50. We'd lose all that space for no reason. And being told by a pro coach that this second man behavior you see from Camille, that this movement he's doing is correct. In order to have a position that's equal, where he runs off like this, trying to cover the midfield on a diagonal that isn't even suitable for him, I have to preemptively commit to rotating hard third as if we're going to lose it. So the second man, basically in this position, keeping in mind the system, he's on the opposite side zone. I'm actually on the right side. He's actually left side. But it takes away my angle as third man because I am covering the switch. I'm covering the transition. I'm covering the midfield. My angle is better if the ball switches anyway. I can just attack this and have a clear angle with good pace. Whereas he has no angle if it spits mid. Because why preemptively move? We can, you can just, one, have your second man stay back and wait for sideline or midfield play in his zone. So he's waiting to see how the play develops. Or two... Have your third man play off your second man, that if your second man, A, looks to pass it, you'll be there because you'll have checked deep first and you're looking for the square pass, or B, looks to shoot. So in other words, you were ready for the pass, but he looks to shoot it and you're in the right play and you're not out of the play, you can just take his position a second. But no. So now in order to keep this position equal now, I have to win this tackle despite me having a square angle and the defender does not so the defender wins this which i lose the whole field of space and i explain this conceptually to green warrior in my one hour video that i posted and it blew his mind and it's just logical then we jumped into games and what happened the guy that was in my position was beat because he overcommitted. so the first man took it up our defensive corner it spits mid in the uncontested ball in the midfield and he should have gotten scored on but he didn't so what's the conclusion stop doing this movement this movement doesn't fucking work and it only puts your third man in a bad spot and usually your teammates are going to suck and they're not going to be able to cover it as effectively as i do in these videos so in other words you're losing games you're losing mmr and ignore all coaches that tell you this movement is correct